<sighs> well, at least we have a double eviction coming. Don't change the channel! Hey guys, it's Camera Review for this week so far of Big Brother 21, episodes 30 through 31, and I'm just gonna jump right into it, guys. This week, I know we're only two episodes into it, but it is fucking rough. Uh, this is easily one of the worst weeks of the season so far. This is probably going to be a rant. I don't have many positive things to say uh, very much at all, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Obviously, um, there isn't a ton of stuff to talk about, but I figured I'd get something out before the double eviction uh, tonight, just so you guys have something to, you know, something to discuss and things like that, so we're just gonna get right into it. So, let's start off with talking about Sunday's episode, which Sunday's episode, there's a lot of stupid shit going on. Look, there is one amazing moment, obviously they're all on the wall and things like that, and uh, Jessica falling, yes, Jessica falling was an iconic moment. Her scream and the thud, oh, I loved it. I thought that was fantastic. It's gotten memed up constantly, and for good reason. It is definitely one of the best we've ever seen in terms of uh, fall and I loved every second of it, and it's probably the best thing about this entire week. Other than that, there's nothing but stupid shit going on this week. Um, very early on, uh, for some reason, Jackson thinks that Tommy is going to come after Nicole and Cliff, even though there is nothing in the episode to show this. Um, Tommy gets a very close to winning HOH, but Jackson makes a deal with him, so he ends up winning. And again, let me just remind you, there is nothing in the episode to show this narrative of Nicole and Cliff possibly um, being targeted by Tommy. No, you are the one who's being targeted by Tommy Jackson. It's you and Holly that he He's coming after. The only reason he hasn't is because you guys keep winning things. If Tommy was as consistent as Jackson and Holly, both of them would be out of the house by now. And I don't understand why that's so hard for Jackson to get through his head. Tommy is not someone who is loyal. His only loyalty is to Christy. Maybe to Jessica as well, but it's definitely not to Jackson and Holly. And I still don't understand why Jackson feels that Tommy is someone that that he can trust. I, I really don't get it. I mean, again, kudos to Tommy for making Jackson feel that way, but I don't understand why he feels this way. But that's not the dumbest part here. The dumbest part easily is who Jackson decides to target. Because, uh, you know, you would think that with her being an option, you would think he'd just go right for Christy, obviously. Because, you know, she was his target before. Why wouldn't he just want to target her again? Um, but no, for some reason, he has this brilliant idea in his infinite wisdom to target Jessica, of all people. And his reasoning, look, he tries to rationalize it, okay? Okay, I'll give him credit. He tries to rationalize why he would make such an idiotic move, but there is absolutely nothing to justify it. His reasoning is like, oh, she is the only outsider left, and she's really good at mental comps and things like that, and, you know, everyone else is a duo, and it's like, okay, but why did, why would you want to target her? Why would that give you an incentive to target her rather than try to strike up a deal with her? And especially since she's so alone alone in the house, I would see that as actually an advantage, because she can get something going with, like, you and Holly. You guys could maybe work together. Jessica's someone you can take along to the end. You know, that's someone that you could beat in the final two. She is not someone that you need to get out for whatever reason. So I really don't understand what Jackson was thinking here by targeting her. And again, he tries to do what he can to make sense of it, but there's so much. There's only so much he can do. This really makes no sense at all. And uh, I, I really didn't get, especially when he talks to Jessica about why he is targeting her. Uh, yeah, let's just say that she's not the brightest, and him being threatened by her mental ability is pathetic. I mean, she, basically every single thing that he was saying to her went over her head. He had to spell it out for her to understand what he was talking about. You know, he talks about how it's getting down to the wire, and there's gonna be mental comps, and she, for some reason, cannot tell what he's talking about. And I'm really starting to think that her HOH reign was just 
just a fluke. It was a fluke because she was in range. She did the move that we all wanted her to do, and that was it. And yes, that was a fantastic HOH week. She did do a good job with that, but... I feel like she only did that because it's something that she wanted to do. It wasn't that she maneuvered it so well to the point where she should be a threat now. It's that, no, she was able to get Jack out. I mean, again, yes, it was a really good HOH. She got her target out. A great, you know, she got her target out. She did what she needed to do. Great. Definitely a really great HOH reign for sure. But there's not anything specifically that she did besides that. That shows that she is a threat. She's won one mental comp, and that's it. There's not really much else that she's done comp-wise for Jackson to want to target her, and I really don't understand his reasoning here at all. It didn't really make much sense to me. I get it. He's working with tightly with Nicole and Cliff, so obviously he's not going to target them, but I don't understand why you don't want to target Chrissy, especially since at the end of this episode, she talks about how she's targeting Jackson and Holly. They're next on her radar. She talks about how when this week is over, her contract with them, you know, she continually says, it's null and void. I don't want to work with them anymore. And I don't really blame her. I mean, she's been on the block for four consecutive weeks. Obviously, she's a bit perturbed by that. And she really just wishes someone else could go up. So, yeah, I don't understand why Jackson wouldn't just target Christy and Tommy. Tommy still has yet to be on the block. I guess, great for him, but how has he not been on the block yet? I feel like it's so obvious to put Tommy on the block. Why can't you just put him up there? But no, he puts up Christy and Jessica, and I just don't understand why. I don't understand why he decided to make this move. I think this was really dumb on his part. And uh, yeah, so that, that was just really stupid overall. Other than that, there's not really much else to talk about on Sunday's episode. We get a ridiculous segment with Christy uh, missing her dog and uh, Big Brother coming out and being like, Big Brother loves you. All like, all, like creepy and shit. And she's like, you know, so just uh, elated about it. And just, uh, I didn't like that at all. This is just one of those episodes where there's not a lot happening. So they don't show a lot going on game play wise and it's just very disappointing to see again this has been happening all season but the, especially this late into the season just the fact that there's so little going on very sad to see and I, I wish I had more stuff to talk about but I don't it's just this was a really dumb move overall and now, of course, we get to last night's episode, which honestly was barely even an episode. I honestly struggle to call this an episode of Big Brother. This has to be one of the worst entries of the show I've ever seen. Most of this episode, we get basically no comp, no uh, gameplay strategy whatsoever. We get no reasoning for why certain decisions are made. No, instead, we focus on this really dumb drama between Jackson and Holly, and this was the thing that I was going to bring up. On one hand, I'm happy they addressed this, because I talked about my last review, how if they did not bring this up, then I was going to bring it up myself, so I'm glad that they did bring it up, but I don't like that it took up, like, most of the episode here. I don't like that that was the main thing going on, but obviously we'll just get right into it. So here's what the show didn't really get to show. The reason why this whole thing started is not because Holly just wanted to come up with this talk show. She wanted to come up with this talk show because she didn't feel like she was being well recognized. She felt like she was just Jackson's girlfriend and she wanted to have more personality on the show besides that. Um... So that's why she came with this talk show, and look, on one hand, I feel really bad for Holly because of the position she's in. The way Jackson was treating her was uh, just completely deplorable. Uh, no one should treat their girl, no one should treat anyone that way, but especially someone that's supposed to be um, their girlfriend, definitely they should not be treating them that way. Uh, but Jackson was just being incredibly dismissive, and I, I really don't understand his reasoning here. Like, what, just because she wanted to jokingly ask him 
him a few personal questions. Like, he just got upset about that. He's, again, he's just, he's stomping around. He's very dismissive. Um, he's giving her the space. You know, she tries to give him coffee, and he doesn't even want that. It's just, it's a very weird situation altogether. But it very much does show that CBS's edits of Jackson, I don't think they can really do that anymore because he is anything but that nice guy they've been trying to paint him as. This guy is very toxic, he's very dismissive, and it's pretty clear that he is just not a good person at all. He's terrible at conversations, he's incredibly confrontational, he is basically gaslighting Holly into staying with him, like being like, oh, I've, I've done nothing but fight for you for like 74 days, even though the first few days you were sleeping with Kat, but whatever, sure, Jackson, yes, it's been just you and Holly the entire time, and him being like, I don't want to, I don't want to do this on CBS, it's like, you, you realize there's cameras everywhere, right? Like, even if you say that, it's going to be aired somehow. Live feed, CBS, somehow it is going to be on the airwave. There's cameras everywhere. It's going to be there no matter what you do, but whatever. Jackson's all stomping around. He's all pissed about this and seeing Holly cry, yeah, I did feel really bad for it. Like I said, no one should have to be treated this way, but Holly's reasoning for this I think was really dumb. She should have known that this was going to happen. You know, she talks about how I wish I played for myself. I wish I had a more individual game. It's like, well then you shouldn't have gone into a showmance. You shouldn't have made this a thing. You should have tried to do what Haley did last season where she she kept shrugging off Fessy. She kept telling him, like, you know, I don't want to, I want to wait until we're out of the house to really explore this. And while they did do that in the beginning, obviously towards the end that wasn't really the case, but because of that, Haley was able to do a little bit more than that. She wasn't just Fessy's girlfriend that way. Holly, on the other hand, has done absolutely nothing to prove that she has more of a personality beyond being Jackson's girlfriend. She's just, you're boring. I'm sorry, you're boring, Holly. That's that's why this is happening. It's not because CBS is any other way. It's because they have nothing to show other than that. There's nothing that they've wanted to show because you haven't given them anything else to show. So, yeah, that's the reason why Holly is getting the edit that she has. So, again, this whole thing is just really stupid. Um, but, again, I really do feel bad for Holly in this way. And I, I hope to God that one of two things happens tonight. One, I hope that Jackson is... Well, actually, there, there are two things I want to happen at the end of the season. One, I, I just hope Jackson's evicted tonight. I think that's the best thing to happen. I think she, if Holly needs to get as far away from him as possible. Because, as I said, I think if Holly was on her own, she could be making good moves. Now, I don't think that's going to happen now because she's so tied to Jackson and things like that that she kind of has to say to him, and I feel bad bad for because of that. But the second the season's over, she's got to leave, like, immediately, because he he's going to try to to keep her in there and hold her in his grasp. And considering the way he was acting towards her now, I can't imagine how things will be when they're out of the house. But this was extremely uncomfortable to watch. Um, I'm glad they showed it, for sure. I don't like that they tried to make this seem like Jackson felt remorse about this, because he clearly didn't. I mean, him talking about his ex-girlfriends and things like that, he, he doesn't care about this. He thinks that he's the victim in this situation, which he's absolutely not. That's never been the case whatsoever, but whatever. That's how I feel about that situation. It's very ugly. I really hate talking about it, but unfortunately, that's what took up the bulk of this episode, and it sucks. I wish we had a little bit more going on. It definitely wasn't fun to watch, um, but it happened, and unfortunately, that's the way things really are for Jackson Holly at the moment. Like I said, I don't think this is going to change unless Holly decides to get away from him. Obviously, she can't now because game-wise, it just wouldn't make sense to do that. Um, but once she's out of this game, she needs to get as far away as possible because of any, it's just showing how manipulative and controlling Jackson really was. I wouldn't even really call this an argument. It was much more of him just talking down to her and being dismissive and, and acting like she was the problem, which was just making it so much more uncomfortable to watch. And uh, I just, I, I hated every second of this for sure. 
I also hate that it takes up so much of the episode because as a result of that, so much of this episode ends up being so tonally uh, confused. I mean, especially the cut from Holly crying to just Caribbean music for the veto. Like, what was that? Like, that was awful. That's one of the worst edits I've seen in Big Brother in a very long time for sure. Um, I did like that Nicole got to play in this veto. That was definitely really cool to see. Unfortunately, it didn't amount to much, but Tommy does end up winning the veto here, and Cliff goes up on the block, and that's kind of it. We don't get any reasoning as to why they decided to put Cliff up or why Tommy decided to take Christy off. Uh, I mean, you're sure he talked about it at the end, but like, I would have liked a lot more gameplay here. You're still going to have the Jackson and Holly stuff, but like, keep that to a minimum. Um, and then have the gameplay as well. There was just, there was too much of the Jackson and Holly stuff. It took up too much of the episode, and as a result of that, we got almost zero gameplay in this episode. It was just absolutely, uh, disgraceful, but that's really the way we do end things here. You know, Christie's taken off, Cliff goes up, and that's really it. So, heading into tonight, like I said, I don't really know what's going to happen, although the outcome that I would really want is for Christy or Tommy to win this HOH. I would love for them to go after Jackson and Holly, and for Jackson to get out. I think that's in everyone's best interest at the moment. I think Jackson is really just very toxic in that way, and if they keep him around... Jackson's just gonna keep winning all the physical comps. Like, he's talking about how, oh, there's no more. No, there's, like, a shit ton more. I don't know what Jackson's talking about. There's a ton more physical stuff that he's gonna have to do, and we've seen that he's a comp beast, so that alone is a reason to get him out. He is very dangerous in this game, and if they keep him around you know, for another two or three weeks, he might just take it all. And I hate saying that. I don't want someone like Jackson to win, but they need to get him out in this eviction. This is their one shot to do it, and I really hope that it does uh, pay off in the end. I really hope Holly does not end up winning this tonight. Oh my god, I hope that does not happen, because you guys know me. I, I hate uh, repetitiveness. I like seeing the pendulum swinging from one week to the other, and I hope that's still the case uh, this week, because these last few weeks have been extremely boring. There's been barely any sort of tension going on, mainly because it's just been the Jackson and Holly show for, like, th the last three weeks, and it hasn't been interesting at all. Um, Jessica leaving again, I still don't understand why this needs to happen. I don't understand why she needs to be the target. Christy said she's going after Jackson, but for some reason he's targeting Jess. I, I really don't get it, but I do think it's going to cost him. I think this is definitely going to bite him in the ass for sure. But again, like I said, if we're lucky, all we really need is for that Jackson eviction party to happen. I'm hoping that, you know, I'm seeing a chapter two tonight, but I'm hoping after that, when I come back from it, I go onto Twitter and I see Jackson eviction party um, trending on Twitter. I hope it's just like it was with Christy. I hope that very much is a thing. Can we make that a thing, please? Can we, can we please just have a Jackson eviction party? I, I would really love for that to happen. I don't ask for much in life. I really don't. But that is something that... I would very much uh, love if it happened, and I do think could very much um, be the highlight of this entire season if it does play out that way. So I get all of what happened to Brett last season, except Brett was someone I like, Jackson is someone I fucking hate, so I, we'll have to see the way that uh, plays out for sure. But I, I really hope that is the, for me, that is like the only outcome that should happen tonight, but I, I hope it is the one that, that does end up happening, because I think there are many reasons as to why it should. Other than that, not much else to really talk about here. I will just will really have to see the way things do play out tonight. Uh, this was a really awful week for sure. I do hope that things do get better, but again, I think Jackson needs to leave in order for that to happen because I'm just tired of him winning HOHs and Holly winning HOHs over and over again. I know that happened with level six last year, but at least with level six, like they were deserving of what they were doing. It wasn't just like, you know, um, you know, let level six was doing a good job in which at least it was like, yes, it was that alliance, but it wasn't the same person winning every single time. Yes, Casey. He kept winning the veto, but like there was a week when Brett was HOH or uh, Angela was HOH or Tyler was HOH. So there, there were alternates there, but it's just been Jackson and Holly over and over again. And I'm really hoping that it does die down, but I guess we'll just have to see the way things do play out. That's really all I have to say for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of it overall. Uh, loved your thoughts on it. What do you think of the whole Jackson and Holly drama? 
again, not stuff I particularly love talking about, but it happened. Not much else I can do about it. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you guys in my next video, and we'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.